Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing good, everyone is staying healthy. Uh, this is another Brick Model Railroad Premium Instruction Kit review. And this specifically is here, this USRA 50 Fontan Hopper. This is the last kit that I built using the BMR instructions. Uh, so I'm just gonna quickly go over the instructions themselves. So this is, you can purchase from the on their uh, brick model railroad guys website so you receive this premium instruction kit uh, and you also receive uh, bearings uh, for the car itself so let's just go over really quickly uh, the instructions so in the in the kit itself you get um, just some intro then uh, the history of the hopper car you get some interesting plans and then you get to the build itself also uh, at the end you get the list at as any other instructions that they make you get the list of the parts that you you need to uh, to build um, to build your hopper and you also get the options to see what kind of hopper car can you build and then some here some of the options and the railroads that you can um, choose the colors for and um, you can also purchase a sticker sheet decals and uh, this is what they have here so um, I'm not gonna go too much into detail for the instructions themselves the build is you know fairly advanced fairly complicated there's some uh, uh, building methods that are Mm, uh, I wouldn't say uh, very hard, but not very common if you're just a regular uh, Lego builder. Also, another thing to note: the instruction kit. They assume that you have um, uh, that you're building a black hopper. So, lots of <laughs> lots of instructions here just have a bunch of black pieces, and you have to really pay close attention. Um, to where those black pieces go and it's kind of easy to miss uh, but other than that if you play you know pay close attention uh, uh, to the instructions on all these pieces you know you'll, you'll manage it's manageable like I said just lots of black and some things are just small and hard to see but other than that the build is fairly fairly good and fairly sturdy so when I uh, built this kit I um, Put an order, a bricklink order, and just to save some money, I decided to um, use. Um, I, I purchased used parts, so um, so the benefit of that is basically. So here's the card itself, but the benefit of using uh, used parts or ordering used parts on bricklink is, um, it's, it's makes this whole build uh, the whole cards a lot cheaper. But the downside is that you don't know what kind of parts you get them being used in what kind of condition and in this kind of intricate build it's kind of important to have um, somewhat a good clutch and I know that some of the used parts don't have um, that good of a clutch clutch power as um, uh, new parts would have so it's up to you how you want to go about it I went uh, with the with the used parts just to save save some money because um, uh, it can get fairly expensive if you use new parts and I you know it worked for me i'm fairly happy but you have to be careful because like once again because you don't know what kind of condition conditions the part will come in so but let's go ahead and take a closer look at the hopper car itself as you can see here i purchased um decals uh together with this kit and this is the decals that i picked and as much as i want to say new york city is actually new york central um, just kind of reminiscent and reminds me of New York City, the place I've been multiple times and I really enjoy being. So I decided to go with that, with that railroad. Um, so let me go ahead and pick this up and give you a little bit of a closer look. Once again, this is used parts. The decals definitely give, give, give a lot of more realism, like the actual model realism. Um, and do I'm really happy that I end up um, 
purchasing decals and adding it to the kit. So this is one side and this is another side. Once again, this is very accurate to the actual hopper, hopper car. Really happy about the whole build and the kit itself. Comes with a, once again, comes with a BMR BMR bearings which roll really smoothly on the track but let's go ahead and see this car running on the on the Lego train layout with the Lego uh, train size curves hello everyone so here we are on a standard Lego track um, I decided to film another day since the lighting wasn't the best so now this is uh, in the day, daytime, daylight. So let's go ahead and uh, connect this card uh, to, uh, to a train and see how it runs around the Lego standard uh, track. Let's go ahead and up the speed a little bit. As you can see, the hopper car runs quite well and there's no issues and it looks really good too. So that so far concludes the review of a hopper car by BMR. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments. If you like the videos and want to see more, please subscribe. I will be putting up more videos for you guys. So what I have coming up next is going to be this guy right here so I'm looking to make this international car company extend the vision caboose now so this is up next it's probably gonna take me a little bit of a time before I, because I still have to order the parts uh, to to build this caboose uh, but this is this is happening next thank you very much for tuning in